Hi, I just posted an announcement on E360 and I also emailed you that announcement to let you know of how you can get a hold of me using my online office hours. I'm trying something new this semester, so we'll work out the kinks as we go, but I have created a chat room kind of place, it's called a group meeting place, where our you and your fellow classmates, including myself, can come during my online office hours to discuss any questions that you have. We can do this through um, text typing or uh, video chat, whatever you want to do. This is a great universal tool for that. So I just wanted to walk you through what it sort of looks like. According to the note that I left you on, on the announcement page, my online student hours are Tuesdays from 12.30 p.m. to 1.30 p.m. and Fridays from 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. Each room that I use has a specific email address. So for example, in this course, I'm just going to click on this example, it brings up the chat room where you can meet me to discuss any questions that you have. The one thing I'm coming to find that I don't like is that it will bring you to this page here, right here, and then there's a toolbar with nothing in there. So if I were to just do that and press enter, it then tells me that it's an invalid email. So in order to log in to Cisco Spark into our chat room, you will need to use your CVTC email. So mine is hgrande at cvtc.edu. And then I hit the next button and then I click on Cisco. If, if it's not installed on your computer yet, you want to click that install button. Already in Cisco Spark space. So I guess that's good. I don't know what that means. So let's, oops, let's go here. It's gonna go to ciscospark.com. Here we go. I'm just going to, because I already have a login, I'll just log in really quickly to show you what it's going to look like. Yours is going to look a little different because it's going to bring you specifically to our designated room. And I'll put in my username and you'll have, again, you're going to have to create a username or I mean a password. And I would suggest using your CVTC password, so then that way it's something familiar that you know of. All right, that's welcoming me. And then if you'll notice the left-hand side of the screen, these are all the rooms I have set up. So it will bring you directly to our room that is designated for our class. So for example's sake, I'll just go here. And um, I've already, yours, you won't see anyone can join this space. You can just start typing. So if you have any questions at the bottom here, I can just write. And then it will send it to you in a text format in our general space there. If I wanted to, I went up to this little waffle circle here. I click on that. If I wanted to, uh, we could call each other if you have a webcam availability on the device that you're using. You can download the smartphone app as well as the app for the computer. I would recommend that you do both so that way you can access my online office hours whenever you need. But you can do a simple call if you want to. Um, you can add people. Um, I prefer you to add yourself so then that way um, you and I can chat whenever you want. But um, that's what that little waffle circle is for there. So I will have this open from 12.30 to 1.30 on Tuesdays and from 1 to 2 p.m. on Fridays for our online office hours. I have also added in the announcement page a link that will get you to like a frequently asked questions page. This again is new for me just as much as much as it's new for you. So if you have any questions, I would start here. And then um, if you have additional technology questions, I would ask that you direct them to our technology team at CVTC. Um, thanks for learning with me. And I look forward to using this space for our online office hours.